So you might be trying to figure out how you can delete your Apple ID or change your Apple ID on your iPad. Now, luckily for you, this is a pretty basic process. So the very first thing that we're going to want to do is to go ahead and make our way over to our iPad settings. So we're going to go and make our way over to our iPad settings. And at the very top portion, you're basically going to see your name. All you want to do is go and click on your name. Now I've already done this. So you're going to come into a panel that looks something like this. So you're going to see your name and everything up here. You're going to see other Apple devices. But your name when you clicked on now what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way down on this side until you see a sign out button at the bottom now when you do that the sign out button will be at the bottom like this and that's all you want to click on so click on the sign out button and when you do that basically see a thing that looks like this now you want to go ahead and indicate whether you want to go and keep your copy of your data or whatever you can do it if you want to if not you just want to go and click sign out and it'll say if you want to do it click sign out again and then it's going to remove all of the iCloud data. So it's going to basically remove everything that's within your specific iPad. So it's going to remove just the iCloud data. So any iCloud photos, your data is still going to be on this iPad. But if there's anything linked to your specific account, it's going to basically delete it. So please keep that in mind. Otherwise, your iPad will be basically the same way that it was before. And then you will see, you will now see a little sign into your iPad button up here. So now all you want to do is go and click on sign into your iPad, which is right there. And you can go ahead and sign into your Apple ID as you normally would. So that is pretty much how it's done. Sometimes your Apple ID or your iPad will ask you to go ahead and say, hey, type in the password of your older account. But if it doesn't, like it didn't for me, then you can freely sign into any Apple ID account and you can make the iPad, you know, whatever you want to do with it. So that's pretty much how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.